right guys i'm having a serious issue with this sl600 uh, this is the one from alabama v12 i'm trying to get these silvers neomax adjustable coilovers installed and i'm on the last one the passenger side rear and the inner control arm the bolt that runs through the subframe is seized um it's rusted it seized to the metal sleeve that runs through the rubber bushing let me see if you can see it. As I twist, the bolt will not turn, but the bushing uh, turn, well, the bolt turns with the bushing. It will not break loose. Let me see if I can show that. It's kind of hard to see with one hand because it takes two hands to turn this thing. Let me see if I can do it. Even with a cheater bar. So I'm in trouble. What can I do? You know, the other option is to disassemble the lower control arm to drop it to get that strut out with the outer hub assembly. You know how hard that is to reassemble? First off, to disconnect, but then to reassemble. The outer hub is the worst way to drop the lower arm in order to get that strut out because it's so hard to line it back up. There's zero tolerance with that outer hub assembly. So to reassemble it is not like any other car. Mercedes has very, very low tolerances regarding um, their assembly of the suspensions. So once you break that loose and if you can get that stuff taken apart, it's going to be a nightmare reassembling it. So that's where I'm at right now. What suggestions, what tips do you have to break that loose? It sees inside the metal collar running through the bushing, the rear lower control arm. What do you guys do? I do have PB blaster. I also have this stuff over here that I've used. This right here. I've tried this. The PB Blaster is brand new. I haven't tried this yet. The WD-40, I soaked that last night. That didn't do anything. I don't know, guys. I'm stuck right here. I got one strut left to do on this <laughs> SL600 V12. The very last one. Now, the passenger side, uh, driver's side rear, it was a little, it was tight. It was rusty. Um, that boat usually spins freely. It was very tight. But it broke loose, no problem. Like I didn't, I, I didn't have the strain to break it loose. I mean, it was tighter than normal, but it broke loose. This one right here, whole different story. I cannot get that loose for anything, man. I can't break that loose for anything. I've even tried on the other side to uh, put on a nut. That's the other arm, uh, other side of that bolt. So the nut comes off, of course. But I double nutted, <laughs> double nut. I put two nuts on there, uh, turning against each other so that I can use the leverage on this side uh, to try to break it loose, just in case it was more or less on the back side it was seized. But apparently it seized in the front and the back, and I have not been successful at breaking that loose yet. I've been working on it since late last night, about 8 o'clock p.m. I started back on it this morning about four hours ago, three hours ago, and I have not had success yet. What would you guys do in this situation? Would you try to just go ahead and disassemble the front hub assembly and drop the arm that way? Because you don't want to break that because then you have to do sub, uh, you have to do the subframe um, replacement or whatever. If you break that loose, basically you have to get that bolt, the, the threaded bolt out of there somehow. And then you're going to probably damage that bushing. So then you got to get a new bushing pressed in into the subframe. Man, I ain't doing all that. I even thought about cutting this uh, strut in half and breaking it, uh, breaking it in half, cutting it in half. And then uh, putting the new uh, coil over in there and then just uh, readjusting it. I've also considered that. Um, I don't know how dangerous it is to, to cut a spring while it's being compressed, right? To cut it while it's in place. And it's not going to bounce out and hit me. It's just going gonna, it's gonna, to it's gonna do something. But it's still contained. Uh, I don't know. Should I cut this mud? Cut this, cut it in half and remove it that way and install the new one and, and lengthen it once it's installed? I really don't know. I'm like really confused here. So, <sighs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. 
But yeah, I'm stuck. So what do you guys suggest that I do? I need your help. What do you suggest? <laughs>